gym life is hard. It's hard eating healthy and getting protein at the same damn time. Rule number one, whenever you're in a relationship, if you can't make a nigga come just off ahead, you need to throw your whole self in the garbage, okay? Somebody asked me, what's the safest club in Chicago? I said, Sam's Club, my guy. Really? For all the fellas out there, make sure you give your side chick a pencil for Valentine's Day so that way she knows she's number two. <laughs> well, goddamn, you already know somebody old when they got the Atari 800. Look at this shit here, nigga, please. You know what I cannot stand about most of these women on fucking Instagram? Is they act like they can't like no pictures or comments or whatever the case is. <laughs> when your thought ass sister go missing, you always want everybody to repost your flyer. Fuck no, you crazy. You know, something's been irking me. It's gonna be a little different. I'm gonna stop talking about people. We're gonna talk about this fucking MTA fair. These motherfuckers already making us pay $275 to go to point A to B. Now they want $3. I. Right. So if you want the fare to be $3, this is what I want y'all to be working on this year. One, I'm gonna need no more train traffic. That's how some of us get to work in school late. Two, I'm gonna need all those damn machines to work. Talking about you only take quarters. Fuck you mean you better take this card, bitch. Three, no disrespect to any kind of situation out there, but I'm gonna need these homeless people to pay their fare too. How the fuck they get to perform for free? The fourth reason, no more show times for these Mexicans. I'm tired of taking the train to the Bronx to see these motherfucker enchiladas dancing. Five, I'ma need that lady in the booth to fucking smile. Stay with an ugly ass face, throw my metro card, bitch, throw my shit again. Punch you in the heart. Six, in the summertime, you need to turn the AC on. Fuck leaving us in the heat stroke. Turn that motherfucker on. Number seven, all the carts better smell beautiful even if somebody didn't put deodorant on and it's a rush hour where am i number seven number eight y'all need to take those motherfucking stickers off the fucking seats talking about get up for the old people why are they taking the train then boom last but not least i'm gonna need y'all to stop making them loud ass announcements six o'clock in the morning motherfucker we can read the train coming eight minutes away oh, another side note if somebody decide to jump those tracks Pick that motherfucker up and keep it pushing. That's his life that he wanted to end. Ladies, I'm for real. I'm going to need y'all to really start thinking wisely when you do stupid shit. If a nigga tell you he trying to come over to give you a massage, what do you think going to happen? Because then you get all upset when you done give him the kitty and you knew the shit was going down and you act like it's his fault. No, you fell into that shit. I, I didn't know. He said he was just coming over to give my ass a massage. You know, I never had one, so I just wanted to see if it was good or not. I have a riddle for you guys. You talking to a guy you like. He orders a $72 steak and eight drinks. You order an $8 salad and just water. And he tells you, y'all got to split the bill. On the first date, what do you do? Tricky. Y'all figure that out. Somebody asked me, how well do I take the silent treatment? You can't tell me that shit. Because if my girl give me the silent treatment, listen, I've been waiting for her to shut the fuck up the whole day. So I'm just <laughs> blessings. Fellas, you ain't even got to give the girl a silent treatment whenever you mad. Just go outside in gray sweatpants if you know your shit big. So I have a cute little nursery rhyme. I've been singing to my godson for him to go to sleep. And it works. I don't know if you want to do it to your kids. Humpty Dumpty sat on the rock. Little Bo Peep was sucking his cock. As soon as he came, she started to weep. She knew by the taste he was fucking the sheep. Let me explain something for everybody to understand how I am as a person when you get to speak to me. If I'm talking to you and I feel like you don't appreciate my efforts, you're not stimulating my mind, I'm just going to say fuck it and I'm going to do my own thing. I won't tell you I won't bother to let you know. We won't even have a conversation about it. I'ma just leave you there hanging, just like you left my feelings, hanging. And one thing I do say is I never regret being loyal because when shit get real, they gonna wish I was around, trust me.
One thing about me is that I don't even get mad anymore when people show me their true colors. I just become less accessible to them. I'm for real, like, this shit is crazy, $6 to go and to come home. Now, if you live too far, I'm breaking up with you. I'm like, I'm not even playing. Like, if you don't live in walking distance or you don't live in my building, we can't have a relationship. I'm sorry. It's just facts.